Kachana na hayo mtazamaji serikali za kaunti sasa zinaimarisha usambazaji wa chakula cha msaada wakati huu ambapo mamilioni ya wakenya wanaathirika pakubwa na njaa huku hali ya ukame ikiendelea kukithiri nchini kwenye kaunti ya Isiolo zaidi ya familia 1024 zitanufaika na msaada wa chakula huku maafisa wa utawala wakitafuta suluhu ya kudumu wa tatizo hilo kwa sasa takriban wakenya milioni 4.3 wanasemekana kukumbwa na bala njaa huku idadi hiyo ikitarajiwa kuongezeka kulingana na halmashauri ya kitaifa ya kabila na ukame nchini kaunti ya Isiolo ni miongoni mwa kaunti kumi zilizoathirika pakubwa kutokana na ukame katika juhudi za kabila na hali hiyo serikali ya kaunti hiyo sasa inatoa chakula cha msaada kwa zaidi ya familia 1024 mpango ambao gavana wa kaunti hiyo Ibrahim Guyo anasema utaendeshwa sawia na usambazaji wa maji hadi hali itakapoimarika aidha gavana huyo amesema ipo haja ya kutafuta suluhu ya kudumu badala ya kutegemea misaada tumetumia ofisa wetu wa agriculture watueleze sehemu gani tunaweza panda mimea gani ndio ili tuweze kutoka katika hali ya nini ya janga la nini la njaa na mimi niko nawaika kwa miaka mbili ijayo ile miaka kati tutaweka isiyo lockout itakuwa food secure kwingineko governor Mandera Mohamed Halifa sasa anasema hali ya kiangazi katika kaunti yake imesababisha kufariki kwa mifugo kadhaa ambayo ni tegemeo la wakazi wengi there is a need to take urgent contingency measures including water supply to schools and, and contemplating food supplies to 41 boarding schools and over 300 child ECD centers in our county we have appealed to the national government and development partners to supplement our effort in this regard huko makueni gavana Mutula Kilonzo anasema juhudi za pamoja miongoni mwa wadau zinahitajika kote nchini ili kukabiliana na hali ya kiangazi tumeuliza subcounty teams wawe na namba ama mahali ambapo wa Kenya au wale ambao wameathirika wanaweza kuwapata waseme kuna familia ambayo leo wamelala njaa ili tuweze kuwa na kitu kinaitwa uh, response haraka iwezekanavyo wakati huo huo gavana wa Samburu Latile Leit amedai zaidi ya watu laki moja na alfu hamsini na saba wanakumbwa na baala njaa huku tokimu zikionyesha kuwa watu watano kati ya kumi wameathirika pakubwa Leit aliongeza kuwa katika sehemu ya Samburu kaskazini wanafunzi ndio waathirika wakubwa wa uhaba wa chakula Yanajiri haya huku baadhi ya wabunge wanawake kutoka maeneo yaliyoathirika na ukame sasa wakitaka agizo la kufungwa kwa laini ambazo hazijasajiliwa kusogezwa mbele wakidai wengi wa wa ukame hupokea pesa za misaada kutoka kwa serikali kutumia rununu When you tell them you're going to disconnect their phone they have no idea Please give us time uh, let this season pass you know when drought happens the families move uh, as well with their kids so less population will now force the teachers to also be withdrawn and we are not ready for such thing we need to stop everything else and you know bring all the efforts together to intervene so that we can save lives